Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. All you cryptozoologists, get stoked because we have the new Dippy Gus Bushmeat album sophomore release on Expansion Abyss Records, hailing from the depths of Santa Cruz, California. One of my favorite death metal bands in America. No, I do not have the vinyl version. Hopefully I can get my hands on it. But thanks to Nicholas Carpenter, we we're able to go over the cassette version. Now, the band was rad enough to send me the live cassette a while back. And I got to hear some of these songs early. And I've been extremely fucking excited and legit thought I was going to miss Bush Meat by Dippy Gus. Because last time I randomly got the LP sent over by Expansion Abyss, I had no idea. I was like, holy fuck, this is awesome. And I got a postcard in the mail, so I was like, oh, like maybe they're doing the same thing, but I didn't hear anything else about it. But my buddy snagged me the cassette, and I am fucking grateful he did. And I'm grateful for Dippy Gus for supporting this channel since day one and for James at Transylvanian Tapes for getting me into Dippy Gus because I first heard Long Pig Feast which is a Transylvanian Tapes release aka Transylvanian Recordings but while I was waiting for the debut full length Dippy Gus was rad enough to send me the original 20 17 or 2015 demo I, I honestly forget my roman numerals mmxv i think that's 2015 and this demo it's fucking sick i always liked it a lot and the debut full-length death ooze caligari handled the cassette and Expansion Abyss did the uh, vinyl. And there is a connection between both besides the cryptozoology. But that is, we have two tracks that go over cities, states, and times. Like, Death Ooze starts off with Point Pleasant, West Virginia, 1967. While after the instrumental ape sounds, this starts off with St. Augustine, Florida, 1896, which is the postcard I got in the mail, which I should have grabbed before making the video today, but I wasn't really thinking. Here's the LP of their debut full length and the first expansion abyss release ea1 dippy gust death ooze i always loved this color and i love this record it still gets a lot of plays which is why i really want to get the lp version of bush meat mostly for the artwork but also for the fact i can listen to it with a working turntable and be able to enjoy it front to back. I love the whole entire, like, again, cryptozoology collages that Dippy Gus use instead of where most bands would use, like, you know, medical gore and whatnot. I think going, you know, the direction of is it real is it fake like what is that i think that's so much fucking cooler than just a bunch of dead bodies and whatnot the fact that expansion abyss exists i mean the fact that expansion abyss signed a band like dippy gus and allowed them to put out something as disgustingly heavy as bush meat is a testament of just how fucking good this band is and i really love these new songs like this is no sophomore slump this is 
definitely one of my favorite releases so far in 2021. And I cheated and listened to it digitally a lot, actually, because I didn't think I was going to get a copy. So thank you, Nick Carp, uh, Nick Corpse, aka Nicholas Carpenter. Thank you so fucking much, because I was legit stressing. I was like, I've gone over every Dippy Gus release there is from the live you know, recording to the first demo. Like, fuck, I have to go over the new recording. And again, I'm so stoked that the band sent the live recording over when they did because I got to hear like ODK Savagery a little bit earlier and a few other tracks that ended up like on the full length. That is Bush Meat. Awesome artwork by Oozing Death, who I think we're going to get to work on the, the Accursed Womb full length in the future but for right now we have Sam on guitar, Dayan on bass, Carissa on vocals, her vocals are fucking so good, one of the standouts on this recording alongside the guitar work, the drumming, the production, I love the way this sounds, Bog Stomper on drums and Dustin on guitar. So fucking sick, and just look at that cover art. I really need to see 12 inches of this filth. And continuing with the debut full length, we have a nice collage of cryptozoology and madness. Giant beast tears flesh of a woman. Headhunters out of control. Just gnarly fucking stuff. Like talking about the abominable snowman and cool fucking shit. Like here's your only like death photo kind of. But another reason I want the LP, I want to read the lyrics. And it says CLP or CD version for thanks list dot dot dot. So I'm interested in what's also with the LP version cosmetically because I'm sure it sounds absolutely amazing because the cassette sounds absolutely amazing. This is this is the best material Dippy Gus has released so far. Hands fucking down. And the cassette cosmetics, I love when a label gives a fuck. Like, Forbidden rituals, unexplained encounters, terrifying creatures, human sacrifice, expansion abyss, sensational world recordings. And I should know where these photos come from. Like, I, I really should. A shocking exploration of the exotic and bizarre. I know some people claim that that was the carcass of a similar type of extinct dinosaur that is related to the Loch Ness Monster. Again, you know, I forget exactly where this photo was taken and when, but I think that was the backstory I personally read behind it. And here, with this giant ape man, this was like a seven foot tall, like, ape. And it's being, like, held up on a stick in a photo. It might even be, like, 11 foot, honestly. And then there's a picture. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, like, a sea serpent. Again, I've seen these photos before, but I forget. And this is endorsed by the Institute of Primitive Arts and Cultures. And we have a nice Charles Darwin quote. Violent, brutish, and overrun by monstrosities. Nature obeys but one order. The law of the apes. Charles Darwin. Fuck yeah. Bush meat by Dippy Gus. It's fucking great. Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> I have to thank, you know... Not only Dippy Gus for supporting this channel for so long, but Nick 
Carpenter Corpse for making this review possible because I thought I was going to miss out on this bad boy. Hopefully I can snag the vinyl. If not, I apologize, but you know, this is better than nothing and I am so stoked of how this sounds. Restricted exhibition, not available to persons under 18 years old. That's awesome. And when it comes to Dippy Gus, you know, if you like your death metal kind of weird, heavy, vile, and just fucking cool, yeah, this is some trend-free California nasty fucking death metal. Dippy Gus bush meat. But really quickly, let's have ourselves some fruit salad. Four times 10 milligrams THC. And we're gonna have ourselves a sinister sweet as well. Cannabis gummies, 200 milligrams. Yikes. All right, we got grape. It's kind of scary because it looks like real, you know, like candy. Like if you were a kid, you, you know, you wouldn't really know. And th this is non, oh wait, I think this is, yeah, this is vegan actually. They did not use, oh no, they did use gelatin. I'm sorry, I saw the organic raw cane sugar and figured, and the organic virgin coconut oil, but I see gelatin. Gelatin's made of horse bones, but let's try this. Mmm. Like, it tastes like good gummies. Like, even if, you know, there wasn't THC in it. It tastes like a good gummy. Now, the Sinister Sweets are fucking gnarly. Like, I had two last night, so you know what? I'm gonna save these. And eat, eat, eat one later, because I have three left, so... We're gonna see how the fruit salad makes me feel, but let's blast some Dippy Gus real quick for you. Awesome art by Oozing Death. You get a really nice Made in the USA yellow cassette, just like the Hyperdontia one, and it's just fucking great. Like, seriously, I can't get over how good Dippy Gus Bush Meat is, and normally I would just play a song and let you ladies and gentlemen enjoy it yourselves, but I want you to go and check it out yourselves, like, seriously. It's not that hard, go to, I'll put the links in the video description, because I really want you ladies and gentlemen to hear this for yourselves and, you know, get your own opinion, because I could sit here and tell you how sick this is all day, and, you know, if you're a fan of death metal, chances are very high, you're just going to love this based on the tunes alone. But there's so many hidden elements to a Dippy Gus release. It's something I really, really enjoy about it. Like, 
with death ooze I mean, I mean for a long time like just even going through the songs and whatnot trying to find connections and like finding where the songs came from originally because trust me there's a lot on here that you know it's very interesting like the corpse flower and the Mekong man eater there's a lot of very interesting stuff behind the Dippy Gus Mythos, which I don't think really exist, but I'm just going to call them the Dippy Gus Mythos. But what you get here is two sides of awesome death metal from California. Ape Sounds, St. Augustine, Florida, 1896. The Kuma Scalp. Oh, man. Oh. S.K. Savagery. I can't pronounce that word. It, it's massive. Plasmodotial Mass Slime Mode closes off the A side. Side 2 starts with the title track Bush Meat. The demo title track Long Pig Feast, which is actually not a song on the demo, which I thought was pretty cool. Then my Asis in Human Mouth and Ape Sounds 2. And I got to hear My Asis in the Human Mouth on the live cassette. Awesome fucking su like such a good song and such a good release right here. Expansion Abyss, I actually thought like they stopped being a label. Like I wanted to grab that and I still wanna grab that sentient uh Fuck, is it Sentient Horror or Sentient Divide? Ah, uh, I'm drawing a blank on the title. Ah, uh, but it's just, they put it out on vinyl. I have the cassette version, but I would love it on wax. And Expansion Abyss just, they put out all this gnarly stuff and then I didn't hear anything for a while. And then I got that postcard and that's how I found out about Bushmeat. So I appreciate, you know, Expansion Abyss for letting me know that this was in the works and I'm sorry I couldn't afford the LP but hopefully I can grab this on wax in the future but for now I've just been enjoying this shit out of bush meat and I have to thank Mr. Carpenter Corpse himself for making this happen fucking heavy hails and if you grab a copy of this, do it before it sells out and you end up having to pay some absurd amount of money for this bad boy. It's so fucking good. I really want to eat one of these Sinister Sweets right now, but I'm going to wait. I want to see how... I don't want to overdo it. You know what I mean? I have stuff to do today and my knee's bothering me actually really bad, so... This is kind of a test. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Definitely check out Expansion Abyss. Dippy Gus. Bush meat. So good. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells. Yeah.